and this is P.E. with Laura number 79. All right. We're going to work our abs on the floor and your butt a little bit. So, before we start, have your mat in front of you be organized. Have your towel, whatever you're going to need. Pillow, and thumbs on your ribs. Little fingers on your hips. And I want you to practice ribs to hips. Let me come closer. Ribs to hips. Ribs to hips. Thumb on your ribs, little finger on your hips. So this is ribs to hips. Notice my head doesn't have to do any bobbing around. My shoulders come with me. Sideways, ribs to hips. Ribs to hips. Ribs to hips. Arms up. Good. Someone is about to punch you Ugh! in the stomach. Ribs to hips. Ribs to hips. Let's get ourselves on the same language. This is Throwback Thursday. A lot of the stuff you've already done before or know from before. Keeping it simple, I want everyone successful. So now I want you to imagine you have drawstring bag hip bones. Pull it together. So when I cinch that drawstring bag, these hips are coming towards each other. Pull it on in. Pull it on in. Yes, pull it on in. Now, ribs to hips. Ribs to hips. Ribs to hips. Ribs to hips. Yes. Four. Pull it in. Three. Two. Drawstring bag. Now, the minute I add that drawstring bag, my butt tightens up. Come on. Use that whole midsection. Four more. It's like everything's coming in. Your obliques, by the way, come around and they do go in this direction. And they also go the reverse. Now, you ready? I want you to start to bring one nipple line, hello, down to the hip bone. Let's get it right standing up before we get to the floor. Okay, we're gonna start from the beginning in two seconds. Ribs coming to the hip. Ribs to hip. Ribs to hip. Nothing to do whatsoever with your neck. Now, imagine you're wringing it out like a wet towel. Rib to hip. Rib to hip. And again, rib to hip. Good. Relax the hip. Come on. Move it around. I would do that other dance thing, but I can't do it. Well, actually, that's sort of it, isn't it? <laughs> Whatever that thing's called. Flossing. All right, ribs to hips. Ribs to hips. So thumb on the rib cage, little finger on the hips. Ribs to hips. Ribs to hips. Come on, pull it. Ribs to hips. Now add drawstring back. Pull it in this way. Pull it in. Come on, pull it in. Pull it in. Come on, I'm feeling these like crazy. It's only been three minutes. Now, ring them out. Ring it out. Ring it out. Right here. Add the fourth thing, pelvic floor lift. Pelvic floor lift. Yes, you can see my legs moving, so I'm tightening my butt, pulling up the pelvic floor like you're stopping the flow of urine. Pull it up. Good, give me four more. Three. Two. Nice. Loosen it up. Okay, we're gonna go to the floor. So when we talk about ribs to hips, you now know. When we talk about the drawstring bag, pulling in, you now know. When we talk about the pelvic floor, pull it up. Okay, shoulders. Let's start from the beginning. One more time before we go to the floor because then you'll get 100% more out of it. Okay, thumb on the rib cage. Welcome. Little finger on the hip. Okay, let's go. Ribs to hips. Ribs to hips. Ribs coming to the hips. Now notice there's no, not much movement in my back, if any at all. It has to do with right here. Ribs to hips. Come on, pull it in. Mind over muscle. How much desire do you have to do it right? Put your headset, mindset there and do it. Ribs to hips. Now, draw a string back. There's one string here, one string here. Pull it, and I want those hips going together. Feel like everything's pulling in. Yes. 
Okay, five minutes in, and on a scale of one to five, I've got a three, four going on. Come on. Now, next component, pelvic floor. Pull it on up. Pull it up. Four more. Three. Two. Next component, rib to hip. Let's go. Rib to hip. Rib to hip. Now, I'm actually going up on my toes a little bit. Can you see my feet? I'm just bringing ribs to hip. Sideways. How much movement is there? Not much. It's just like you're lying on the floor. Ribs to hips. Four more. Three. Two. One. Loosen it up. Okay. Mat, towel. Wait, you see what I have for a pillow today. Okay. Ready? Let's get down here. So, I need an extra cushion for my elbow. You know I fell off a bike, right? It's been one week and one day. Amazing how sore it can still stay. So, people like Disney, hello, Disney's opening back up, by the way. I'm gonna have this extra cushion under here. All right, hands and knees, ribs to hips, ribs to hips, ribs to hips. Draw string back, ribs to hips. And again, are you ready? One leg, I don't care which one, is gonna disappear on the screen. The opposite arm. Squeeze the glute of the leg. Squeeze the arm. Ribs to hips and keep it. Holding four, three, two, one, eight again, eight, seven. Grow longer. Come on, that arm is reaching. Abs in. Nice. Knees come in. Cat back. Ribs to hips. Leg out. That's the other one. Arm out. Hold it. Squeeze the glute. Lengthen the arm. Rely on your midsection to stabilize you. Eight, seven, six, and five. Four, three, two, and one. Down you go. Plank. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two knees down. Abs in, ribs to hips. Plank. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Knees down. You ready? Let's go. Ribs to hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hands on the floor, lower back. Three sets of eight count plank. You should be able to nail that, no problem. Especially if you've been hanging out in here for a while. Okay, just to pre-engage. Grab your pillow. That's it. Put it behind that back. Yeah, you're here. You ready? Ribs to hips. Hold. Draw string back, pull it in, hold it. Arms in front or you can cross that chest. Add your in. Now, if you came on here a little bit later, definitely do this video from the beginning. When you're really engaging, ribs to hips, abs in, pull it in. Nice. Eight, seven, six, and five. Four more. Three, two, take your rest. Okay, remember the rib to opposite hip? That's what we're gonna do. Pelvis tilt. I'm gonna take my rib farthest away from you to this hip. I can even hold on to my leg. Yes, bring it across. Bring it across. It's like a little bit of a twist. It's like you're bringing the right side of my chest to my left hip. Eight more. Seven. Six. Very tiny, intense movement. Four. Three. Two. And one. Take your rest. Got it? So rib becoming tip. And the next one, I'm going to be going the other way, away from you. So I want you to think about what you're doing. Scoop the tip. 
Inhale the lift. Rib cage to hip. Exhale. 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 Breathe. I'm adding a curvature in my spine. My tailbone tucked under. Bring that rib across. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Nice. All the way to the ground. Figure out what you can do with that head. Balance. Ribs. To hips. Find those ribs. You ready? Abs in. Ribs to hips. Ribs to hips. Ribs to hips. Ribs to hips. Start for the leg lift. I'm focusing on the midsection. Draw string back. Pull it on in. Pull it on in. Ribs to hips. Ribs to hips. Could you come up with it? Yes, you may. Exhale. Exhale. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. Three. Two. One. Knees in. Arms out. Legs up here. Or thighs bent. Over. Two. Bring them up for two. Over. Two. Bring them up for two. Ribs to hips. Ribs to hips. It's like you're pulling it in closer when you bring those legs up. Pull it in closer. Four more. Pull it in closer. Hello. Three more. Welcome. Two more. Pull it in. And again. Nice. Legs up. One down. Just hang out there. All right? Ribs to hips. You can have your head off the ground if you choose, but keep the ribs to the hips. Leg goes wherever you want. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Something a little bit different this morning. Yes. Beautiful. Now you can always reach up with your hands. Reach up with your hands. But if it goes to your neck, get rid of the head. Ribs to hips. Ribs to hips. Ribs to hips. Feet down. Fingertips where you want. Maybe you're not even going to lift the shoulders up the ground. Abs in. Ribs to hips. Tiny little movement. Here we go. Keep it tiny. Exhale. First set of eight. Draw a string back. Second set of eight. Exhale. Third set of eight. Remember the shoulder to the hip? Bring it across. Bring it across. Bring it across. Very little movement though, isn't there? Bring it across. Back in the middle. Exhale. Ribs coming to the hips. Tiny. Seven, set of eight. Come on, bring it in. Eight. Neck is relaxed. It's about that rib cage coming to the hips. Nine. Ten. Twenty more. Let's do it. Welcome. Come on. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. One hundred. Cross one leg over the other. The leg that's on top drags that, that leg drags the other one over. Stretch through the rib cage. Stretch through the obliques. Yes, pulling your abs. 
Other leg on top. It drags the leg over. Stretch. Pull in the front of your body. Get a stretch of that hip. Uncross the knees. Get yourself on your side. Carefully, hands and knees. The blood go to your, down your body a little bit. All right, lunging. Again, a little bit different. Focusing our ribs to hip, draw strings. If you didn't watch this from the beginning, it might be worth your while. Number 79. Tomorrow is Celebration Friday. And we're gonna put standing work with floor work all in one. Maybe, maybe we'll only be standing. Don't know yet. We'll have some fun with it. Get on both feet. Why? I'm not gonna leave you down here. It's Thursday. You have a lot to do if you're in here in real time. Throwback Thursday. Try and connect with someone or several people you have not spoken to in a long time. Or maybe there's someone you know that's been home alone and would love to talk to you and hear a good voice. Rounding up. Shoulders. 16 minutes. Open up. Can't leave you unless they begin a side stretch. Come on, lengthen right out of that side. Abs in. And then the other side. Reach and stretch. Squeeze the glutes. I appreciate you. Don't forget to have a moment to be, think of what you're grateful for today and it will change your energy. Thank you.